everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. I am answering a question today that I received from someone and it was phrased a few different ways. Um, actually, I got this question from a couple different people phrased a couple different ways. So one person um, said to me that um, they dewormed their goat and they still saw worms. So they're assuming that means that the dewormer did not work. And somebody else also asked a similar question um, about seeing worms in their goat's poop and um, what that meant as far as like the goat's health and everything and how concerned they should be. And the answer to this is, is that this is actually good news. Um, so first of all, the only worm that you can see in your goat's poop is a uh, tapeworm. And tapeworm is actually, I love this. I heard this years ago. Um, a vet told me that tapeworms are worse for the mental health of the owner than they are for the physical health of your goat, which is so true because, um, I mean, how can you watch your goat poop out a bunch of worms and not freak out? You know, you're standing there and you see your goat poop and it looks like a bunch of rice or noodles in the goat's poop and and it just looks so horrible and so you think this must be really terrible um and the reality is it's not so tapeworms eat the contents of your goat's digestive system so it doesn't actually hurt the goat um the only way that tapeworms can theoretically hurt a goat is if there are so many that it causes an intestinal blockage and I actually interviewed Dr. Ann Zajac, a professor of um, parasitology at Virginia Tech um, about a year or two ago. And she said that in her whole career, um, and she's been a vet for like 40 years, in her whole career, she had never actually seen that happen. She said it's a theoretical risk but she'd never actually seen a goat with so many tapeworms that it caused an intestinal blockage. So they really don't hurt the goat. And in fact, she herself raises sheep. And she said that one time her husband took a bunch of lambs um, to the sale barn. And when he came back, like the trailer was just full of, um, you know, lamb poop and worms. And, and the, the lambs were like perfectly healthy. And I have also seen the same thing. In fact, it's really pretty funny because about 10 years ago, when the first edition of Raising Goats Naturally came out, I was doing a lot of media for it. And I took a mama goat and her baby with me to a TV studio to do some, um, to do a promotion. And while they were in the studio, they started pooping and it was the people there were horrified because the goats were just dropping pebbles everywhere. And um, but they were all just pebbles. It was it was perfect. You know, um, like it could not have been a better if you're, if you're going to have an animal poop in a TV studio, like it could not have been better. It was just a bunch of perfect pebbles, you know, that they were able to just sweep up into a dustpan and throw away. And then I took the goat and this, the kid was, was like the, this fat, happy kid. And then I took them home and, um, the minute I took them out, um, they're standing right next to the, the car with me and the kid pooped the biggest load of tapeworms I have ever seen in my life. Um, I mean, it was more worms than poop and I just, was so shocked and horrified, but also incredibly thankful that they did not do that in the TV studio. And that also was the thing that taught me that there is an incredible variation in terms of how much, um, you know, because you a fecal is just like a snapshot in time and it can vary from one poop to the next in terms of how many eggs are in there or how many worms are in there, you know, like, I had, I had been, I had seen this goat poop over and over again for the last several hours because it was a couple hours to get to the TV studio. There were no worms whatsoever in, in the crate that she was in for transportation. Um, there were no worms at all when she pooped in the TV studio. And then we get home and she poked, pooped this amazingly huge load of tapeworms. And like I said, she was like the chunky, she was like this incredible chunky monkey. 
Now I know I have had people say to me, oh, but I've seen kids poop out tapeworms and they are in really bad shape. Well, that just means they have more than one kind of worm. So this is a case of, um, you know, you're basically accusing the wrong worm, wrong worm of making the goat sick. So you don't need a fecal to know that <clears throat> your goat has tapeworms. But if you, if you, if you have a really skinny goat and you see them poop out tapeworms, it's not the poop, it's not the tapeworms that have made them skinny. It means they've got something else going on. So, um, worms, round worms are basically the worms that make your goat skinny. So, you know, bankrupt, uh, scour worm. And of course the barber pole, because the barber pole is the one that's going, is the blood sucker that is, is really going to make them sick really fast. And the barber pole just by far causes, causes far more losses um, in goats than any other worm because it is just so prolific and goats can get such a heavy load of barber pole worm. So, um, so if you have a goat that pooped out a bunch of tapeworms and then you get a fecal, your vet would find um, a lot of, would also probably find a lot of round worms in there. Um, you know, assuming your goat didn't also have yonis or some disease or something that was making it skinny, but the tapeworm itself is not going to make your goat skinny. Now, what if, uh, cause this other person asked me like, well, if I gave my goat a dewormer and, and then I see it pooping out worms, it means the dewormer didn't work. Right. Not necessarily. All it means is that the dewormer did not kill tapeworms. Now, this is the thing where some people get the idea like, oh, you always have to do a fecal because not every worm kills not every dewormer kills every worm. Well, the reality is every dewormer out there um, kills all of the roundworms. And the roundworms are the ones making your goats skinny. They're the ones that can give your goats diarrhea. They're the ones that can give your goats anemia. So if you have a goat that has the classic symptoms of being sick from an overload of worms, it is roundworms. And all of the dewormers on the market kill roundworms. If you're like, oh, it doesn't in my area. Well, that's because you have dewormer resistance on your farm. Um, you can get dewormer resistance to anything. And a fecal cannot tell you one single fecal cannot tell you if you, if, you know, if you, you have dewormer resistance on your farm. So if your goats have roundworm, you can use any dewormer to treat them for that. However, if your goat has tapeworm, which remember is not going to make them sick. So this is for your mental health more than the health of the goat. Um, if your goat has tapeworm, the only dewormers that kill tapeworm are Safeguard and Valbazin. And those are the white dewormers. And your goat would need a single dose, dose of Valbazin at double the dosage of um, that's on the bottle to treat tapeworm. Or if, you're, uh, if you use Safeguard, then your goat would need double the dosage for on um, safeguard for and that's even this the goat safeguard um for three days in a row so um and that also is where people get the idea like oh that they need to use a dewormer for more than one day the only time that you really need to do that is for safeguards to treat tapeworms um so anyway i hope that um helps clear things up a little bit tapeworms um completely different than round worms and round worms are the ones that make your goat sick. That does include barber pole worm as well as scour worm and bankrupt worm and several others. There's, there's quite a few round worms. Um, barber pole is the only one that gives a uh, causes anemia. Um, tapeworm is the only worm that you can see in the goat's poop with the naked eye. It looks like noodles in there. Um, and that one doesn't really hurt your goats, but if you do, choose to treat for it, then you would either use a double dose of Valbazin one time or a double dose of Safeguard for goats three days in a row. So if you've got any questions about that, you can post in the comment section below. We also have a podcast with Dr. Zajak that I will post in the comment section so that um, you guys can see, um, you can listen to that podcast and learn more and hear about um, Dr. Zajak's many years of experience dealing with parasites and being a parasite researcher. Hope this has been helpful. Bye for now.